Planned Parenthoods in Madison and Milwaukee open their facilities to once again offer abortion care services to people across the state. Our political reporter Daryl Fair has you covered with how Wisconsinites are responding to the issue. She is live right now at the Capitol. Daryl. Yes, Brennan and Amber, as you can see behind me, organizers are still putting up signs here on the Capitol steps in preparation for a protest and celebration for the decision to move forward with abortion care services. Planned Parenthood, they decided to resume abortion care services at their Water Street and uh, Madison East Health Centers earlier today after a long awaited pause that lasted a year. The decision to resume those services received mixed reviews among supporters and people opposed to abortion rights, prompting local groups from both sides to organize and share their thoughts on the issue. Director of Legal Advocacy and Services for Planned Parenthood, Michelle Velasquez, said both facilities were overwhelmed with bookings, providing, proving that reproductive health and abortion access is necessary. Wisconsin uh, law is still pretty restrictive when it comes to abortions in terms of waiting periods, required ultrasounds, um, a prohibition on the use of telemedicine for medication abortion, um, and only two of our uh, health centers are currently providing abortion care. Although the 1849 ban severely limits abortion access across the state, many feel that this is a step in the right direction. The Madison Abortion and Reproductive Rights Coalition, also known as March, is gathering right now at the Capitol to recognize their efforts to expand abortion care and to con continue the conversation. Velasquez says that Planned Parenthood currently is putting patient care first um, with security measures in place for those seeking services at their facilities. Planned Parenthood will continue to operate um, with consideration to state law. Live in Madison, Dario Fair, 27 News.